Hello everyone. Welcome once again to abhijitp.tech. In this video tutorial, I will guide you through converting an HTML web page into a WordPress site. First, let's look at the folder structure of the HTML website. The website files are stored in a main folder. Inside, the style.css file is located in the root directory while image files are in the images folder and javascript files are in the js folder. Both of these folders are nested within an assets folder. I will use Visual Studio Code to view and edit the website files. I will open the entire folder in VS Code to access individual files easily. Let's preview the HTML web page we are converting. Notice the header which includes the menu and social media icons that stay fixed when scrolling. This forms the header section. At the bottom of the page, you will find the footer. For the WordPress conversions, I will use local, a tool for setting up WordPress locally. You can also use a WordPress installation from any hosting provider. In local, I will create a new site, keeping all settings as default. I will name the site my website but you can choose any name. I will set a WordPress username and password which you can customize as well. The WordPress installation may take a few minutes. Once complete, I will access the WP Admin panel and open the website in a browser. After logging in with my username and password, you will see the default WordPress page in the browser. Next, I will navigate to Appearance, Themes in the WP Admin panel. By default, three themes are present, 2025, 2024 and 2023. To access the theme files, I will go to Local, click on the Site folder and navigate to App, Public, WP content themes. Here you will see folders for the default themes. Now I will add a new theme. In the WP admin panel, I will go to add themes, search for 2020 theme and install it without activating it.
Back in the file directory, you will see a new folder named 2020. I will duplicate this folder and rename it to something like custom theme. Returning to WP Admin Panel, the custom theme will now appear in the themes list. I will activate it. Next, I will open the custom theme folder in VS Code. Inside this folder, you will find an assets folder and a default style.css file. I will delete both of these. From the HTML websites folder, I will copy the assets folder and style.css file into the custom theme folder. Then I will open the header.php file from the custom theme folder and the index.html file from the HTML websites in VS Code. It is crucial to identify the header, footer and main sections in the HTML code. I have already commented these sections for clarity. The header includes the menu and related elements. I will copy the necessary portions from the HTML file, everything from the HTML tag up to just before the closing head tag and paste them into header.php, removing any unnecessary code. WordPress requires specific files paths to recognize local files. I have prepared the correct path in a notepad which I will share with you. I will replace the original file paths in header.php with the WordPress compatible path for local files like CSS or images. 
external urls such as online resources does not need any changes Next, I will copy the header content including the menu from index.html and paste it into the header.php after the head section. After saving the changes, I will refresh the WordPress site in the browser and the menu should appear. However, the footer and main content still needs to be configured. For the footer, I will open footer.php in the custom theme folder and delete everything up to just before the wp footer function. Then I will copy the footer section including javascript references from index.html and paste it into footer.php. After saving and refreshing the website, the footer should appear. Now for the main content, I will open index.php in the custom theme folder and delete everything between the get header function and the get footer functions. From index.html I will copy the main content excluding the header and footer and paste it into index.php.
I will update the file paths for assets like the background banner image and logo to use the WordPress compatible path as done earlier. After saving and refreshing the website, the converted shy site should display correctly. However, I noticed the JavaScript functionality was not working because I forgot to update the JavaScript file path. After fixing this, the JavaScript should function properly. Regarding links, external links like YouTube or WhatsApp works fine since they point to external locations. Internal links like the services link also work if they point to sections on the same page. However, links like contact me or videos may show a page not found error because WordPress handles multi-page websites differently. Simply copying additional HTML pages into the custom theme folder won't work. This process works perfectly for single page websites with internal section links. In the next video, I will show how to convert a multi-page website and make all links dynamic and functional. Stay tuned for the next part, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification. Thank you.